everyone and welcome to a very exciting episode here on the Hemi Gardener channel. So I have a very quick episode for you all today, but it's going to be exciting because it's going to give the ability for you to never have to buy onion seeds ever again. So a lot of times I go to the store and I see those beautiful, beautiful candy onions and I thought, man, I would love to be able to grow these, but I don't even know where to get the seed. I don't know what the variety is. And there's a super simple quick life hack that's going to save you tons of money in the long run and it only takes one year to set up. So why not make this the year that you're going to do it? So what I have behind me is my bed. I have my bed here and a lot of you probably seen a lot of the pictures on Facebook of the spinach that was growing here. Well, the spinach is done and we harvested that so I needed something to fill the beds. And I had here some Kelsey onions. You remember those massive, huge onions I grew last year, the, the two pound onions that were the size of a small child's head? Yeah, those were big onions. Well, I took some of the onions because we obviously uh, saved some in bags and we had, I think, close to 30 pounds of onions, which was just amazing. And we took the onions and we stored them in the garage and they stored for a long time, but inevitably we couldn't eat them all and they started spreading those green tops. And a lot of times when people see that, they just throw it out and they say, well, this onion's not good anymore, goodbye. And they throw it out. However, what you need to do is don't throw it out. Just clear a little space in your garden. And I'm gonna bring you on close and show you how I planted these. It's so simple. And what they're going to do is since onions are biannual, they're going to actually sprout this year because they've already grown. They've grown a nice large bulb and biannual means they flower the second year. So they come back nice and strong that second year, but they don't put any energy into making larger bulbs. They actually put energy into putting out flowers. So I popped them in the ground here. They've already come back great. They're starting to turn their little greens towards the sky and uh, they're doing great. You really don't have to take much care either. They don't need much fertilizing. They don't need much of anything because all the energy is actually in the bulb. So. Uh, come on in close, check out what I did here, and then I got something else for you. It's pretty exciting. So here you have your onions, and basically what I did is I just cleared away all the plants that I didn't want growing here anymore, the spinach, and I basically just took the plants and I dug them down about three inches full of this nice, uh, nice loose soil, and I just planted the bulbs to be just below soil level. So you got the, the top of the bulb here, and just like you would normally growing. So you don't really have to dig them that deep. And basically I just took the, the greens and just shoved them in. I didn't care what they looked like here. These, you got these ones here, these were nice and long. And these literally were growing like this in the box in the garage. I mean, they were just really out of control. A lot of white because they didn't have any sun hitting them. But if you look at this one right here, this is actually a really good example of what's going to happen after a few days. The onion is actually going to start turning up to the light. And you see all these, these onion leaves here, they're actually, turning up and uh, they're nice and green. That means they're photosynthesizing, they're creating energy for the, the, the actual plant and they're going to start flowering soon. Um, these won't start flowering probably for, I'd say other three or four weeks. They really like to get nice and established and then they'll start pushing out escape. And escape is that, that long, that long uh, tube of a flower stalk that kind of just grows straight up and then puts out a nice set of flowers. And then we'll obviously harvest the seed and then we will have Kelsey onion seeds, seeds from the world's largest onions, inevitably forever. Because one of these plants will give us 300, 400 seeds. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plants here, and that's going to give us so much seed that we're not gonna know what to do with. And then I will be able to grow them out uh, year after year, and uh, some of the seed will then be uh, turned into onions that I will save and allow for more onions and then that way I can actually start giving out seed uh, because Kelsey onion seed is really hard to find a good reliable source for high quality Kelsey onion seed. So if I can make my own and give it out to friends and family and um, maybe even heck sell some, you know, it's a great way to, to just get some seed for free. So I hope you try that. It's a super quick, simple little project and it doesn't take up that much space in the garden because they don't need any more space. They just need to basically get in the soil and they start growing. So. There you go, grow some onions. So as promised, we're going to be doing something really fun here on the Emma Gardener channel. I'm so excited about this. This is going to be kind of a 
once in a while type thing, whenever we have the chance to do this, I'm going to be doing it. And it's going to be really fun because I like standing behind small business. I know so many people that own small businesses, me, myself, running a small business, I know all the hard work that goes into running a small business and how many times I've wished someone would come alongside me and say, hey, let me help you and really push you out there and get your product out there because I stand behind what you do. And if, if there was someone out there that did that for me, I would graciously say, yes, please do it. So here on the Emma Gardner channel, we're going to be doing something like that, where we stand behind a small business that's willing to send us a product and really put their product out there for not only a kind of an unboxing slash review, but to allow everyone to see what they do. Because I realize how much money it takes to actually get your product out there to the masses. And a lot of times small businesses, they don't have that type of that they don't have that type of budget to get themselves out there. So what I want to do is do it for free. I want to just do it for free for the love of doing it and for the fact that I realize there's a lot of people out there that love products like this. And so what I do is I kind of interact with these businesses and see if they have a product that is high quality, made in the USA. It is guard, home and garden related so that it really pertains to you guys. You're going to watch and you're going to say, wow, that I could use that product, not just some random product out there that you know, one in a hundred people might use. So it's going to be something that a lot of people can use. And it's also something that I would really buy myself because I don't want to just do a product that, you know, I would just, I would say, oh, sh that's a great product. And then, you know, put it in a, in a cupboard. I want to be able to put this outside and really use it or use it in the garden. And so that's going to be kind of the premise of this fun thing that we're going to do on the Emma Gardner channel. So the first thing we have here is North Country Wind Bells. I just opened this off, off camera here to check out what they, what they got so I didn't um, kind of fumble around here. They sent me some brochures, which are really cool. That allows you to really look at what they offer. They just have hundreds of designs. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of designs. I mean, you're talking like beautiful, full color brochures, uh, you can pick a lot of different wind catchers, uh, which we'll get into. I, I picked an oak leaf, an oak leaf wind catcher, and uh, they have different wind catchers and they have different, different uh, outer designs, but they also have some of the most unique bells ever in the sense that they have, they, they have, I mean, they have really wrapped their whole hand around the fact that people love the ocean. And that's what they really started focusing on is the ocean. And I think that uh, when you hear this bell, it's going to really remind you of the ocean because they have these things called buoy bells. And I didn't just want any bell because any, I mean, you can hear wind chimes anywhere you go really, but there is something awesome about the ocean. When you go out to the ocean, you hear these bells and they're on these, these tall little buoys um, outside of harbors. And when the wind rocks or the waves rock them, they make this just rich, gorgeous sound that anywhere you hear it, it'll remind you of the ocean. So since I love the ocean so much, I chose the buoy bell and I would suggest everyone go out and check it out. You can go onto their website. I'm going to do their website right now here. Um, I saw it here. It is northcountrybells.com. I went onto northcountrybells.com and I got to pick which bell I wanted and it has a play feature that I think is just so genius and so cool that you can actually play the bell to hear what it sounds like before you get it in your hands so you know what you're getting. And I picked something that kind of reminded me of that kind of East Coast crabbing feel. You can just kind of envision a, a nice calm water with, with fog over the water and it's just a still calm morning and you hear this bell out in the water. It's just, it takes me back to me. So that's why I picked this bell. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous bell. So we're gonna open it up here on camera. I have not opened it up yet. I have not heard it yet. And so we're going to do a, a live trial here. All right. Now, the first thing I want to mention though, that I want to know is the, the box. The box, not only does it come in a box, they also pack it with local newspaper. So they're recycling the local newspaper that would normally just go to waste. They're also using a custom fitted box to fit these bells. So they're getting the, they're getting the attention that they deserve with packing. I mean, they, they really are not just getting thrown into a box. They're getting put into a custom made box for these bells. It was just so cool. But not only that, but the, the boxes are actually a recycled cardboard. And that to me is awesome as well because there's so many byproducts of industries that just throw out cardboard. And these, these companies are actually recycling this cardboard and finding a company that recycles cardboard 
and not just buying uh, any really expensive cardboard. They're going out and actually sourcing the recycled cardboard, so they're, they're trying to be as green as possible. Now, the, the bell here is, like we said, encased in this beautiful box, and I'm going to hold it up here and hopefully not make a whole ton of noise, but you'll be able to grasp from the, the sound just the quality that goes into these bells. All right. Now those bells, those, those rings, they have very rich and beautiful tones that just resonate throughout this entire bell. And it's not a cheap sounding. I mean, this bell is, this is, this is a heavy bell. I'd have to say, if I had to guess, probably between two and a half to four pounds. I'm not just, that's kind of a rough estimate there. It's a really heavy bell. It's a very sturdy, heavy duty bell. It's got a heavy hanger. So no matter how heavy the, how hard the wind is blowing, it's not gonna fall out of your tree. Um, and like I said, I picked, I picked here, I picked here the, the oak leaf, the oak leaf hanger or the oak leaf wind catcher. And that just attaches onto the bottom of the bell. And that way, when the wind blows, even the slightest wind will catch this, this oak leaf here, and that way you can have your beautiful sounds even with, a, even with a low wind. Now the next thing is the metal itself. The metal is a super high quality metal that is used, uh, it uses relatively no heat, and it also has relatively no waste. So it's a very waste-free green company that I thought I would mention. So uh, they also sent here some other products. They have, a, they have a, a bell hanger. These are just really high quality. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean hey, I, I told them that I would review this. And I'm telling you what, these are, these are not cheap. This thing has a lot of, a lot of uh, what you consider uh, tinsel strength, I guess. Um, it, it, it's not bending really easily. So this is gonna hold a lot of weight. It's a really durable product. And that's their bell hanger. And then they also sent me a wreath hanger. And the wreath hanger is, again, really super high quality product. Um, it's a little, a little flimsier, but it's still really high quality. And um, obviously it's thinner too, but you know, made in Maine, made in the USA, and, and their, their website really is fun too. So a great quality product. We're gonna hang this up in the tree and just sit out here on the porch and enjoy it all night and grill some stuff on the grill and really just get to enjoy it. So I hope you all enjoyed. I definitely recommend uh, checking out northcountrybells.com. I'm gonna post it right there in the video and in a link in the description box below for you all to check out. I would highly recommend checking them out. Let them know that MI Gardener sent you if you do decide to get a bell and there you go. If you have any friends or you are a small business as well, make sure to contact me, contact.migardener at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you if you have a quality product, a high quality product that you stand behind and uh, talk with us, talk with me, talk with Cindy, and we'll see what we can do to get your product here on the MI Gardener episodes. And I can't guarantee anything because it has to, it does have to meet our, our standards. Like I said, it does have to be made in the USA. It has to be a high quality product. And it also has to be something that we would want to buy as well and put in our garden. So uh, if it meets all those, then uh, you might as well submit it in and, and see, what you can, uh, see what you can work out with us. All you really have to do is just be able to send something too because a lot of people, they, they want to see the product that they're going to be getting. And so it's nice to be able to hold up a, a product and, uh, and show, show really what the company stands behind. So. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. And this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel, hoping you all are growing big or going home. I'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.